The predecessor of this model was sold in Ukraine neither shaky nor rolls, especially at the end of its career. But, having survived a small upgrade, the Nissan Almera Classic seems to have gained a second wind. Why? Andrei Kuprianov was looking for the answer to this question. The explanation for the phenomenon is quite simple. Almost immediately after the production of the Nissan Almera in Europe was curtailed, the assembly of a slightly redesigned model was resumed in South Korea. There the car was called Samsung SM3. She was only a sedan. In Ukraine, this model became known as the Nissan Almera Classic. There are two more models on this platform, Renault Scala and Nissan Sunny, the latter was sold exclusively in the Japanese market. But it was the Korean origin that provided attractive prices for Almera with the classic prefix. It is not surprising that the car immediately after its appearance in Ukraine became a bestseller. Only one power unit was intended for the car, a 1.6-liter gasoline, 107 horsepower. It was mated with a 5-speed manual transmission or a 4-speed automatic. Moreover, despite the narrowness of the line, this engine is quiet enough for the sedan in all driving modes. Even paired with not the most modern automatic transmission, the car demonstrates good dynamics. The modification with a manual transmission is even quicker, although it cannot claim the title of a lighter car. Nissan Almera Classic exists in only one body modification. Marketers have relied on a sedan and did not lose. This version is traditionally the most popular among domestic motorists. The machine looks quite presentable for its price and size class, but inside it is not as solid as outside. The interior is much simpler than it was in the old Almera, and it is decorated with not the most expensive finishing materials. The build quality is quite decent. Ergonomics also does not cause serious complaints, although there are still a number of misses. For example, the front is quite spacious, but tall people may not have enough longitudinal adjustment of the seat and a margin of space and height. Rear passengers will have to put up with cramped conditions, in terms of wheelbase, only 2535 mm, Almera Classic is noticeably inferior to classmates. Due to the short seat cushion on a long trip, the driver gets tired, and for some reason the steering wheel is shifted to the left. The trunk is spacious and easy to load, the height from the ground to its lower edge is only 650 mm. Affordable models aren't usually lavish, and the Almera Classic is no exception. However, any used car will have at least a driver's airbag, power steering, central locking, and power front windows. All this equipment was included in the basic version of Almera Classic, PE version. The next level, the PE Plus variant, already included two airbags, air conditioning, power and heated mirrors. The top-end SE version adds ABS, alloy wheels, rear power windows and a CD radio. An automatic was offered as an option. Our aftermarket has few Almera Classics as standard. Much more common are instances with power accessories, radio and air conditioning. Don't be fooled into thinking that the affordable and unpretentious Almera Classic will be inexpensive and upkeep. Despite the Korean origin, it is still a Japanese car with all the ensuing consequences. Oddly enough, the battered Almera can be much more expensive to operate than its classmates from Korea. This mainly applies to body parts. The engine is distinguished by decent reliability and works great on 92-octane gasoline. In addition, it has a durable metal chain in the gas distribution mechanism drive, the service life of which is up to 250,000 km. When replacing it, you will have to remove or hang out the engine. Because of our fuel, the mass airflow sensor and the Lambda probe do not last long. Mechanical and automatic boxes do not create problems. In the manual gearbox, closer to the 100, the lever loosens. The clutch serves an average of 125,000 km. Almera Classic has McPherson struts at the front, and a semi-independent H-beam at the rear. The suspension is stiff enough and not everyone will like it, but it is quite energy intensive, it does not break through bumps and pits. Due to the simplicity of the design, the undercarriage will not require excessive costs. True, the front brake pads, made of environmentally friendly, but too soft material, do not differ in durability, for this reason, they hardly live up to the next scheduled maintenance. Brake discs, drum mechanisms are installed at the rear, can withstand an average of only 25,000 km, although, according to official figures, they should last two to three times longer. Ball bearings usually nurse at least 70,000 km. Shock absorbers live up to 100,000 km, not so reliably protected from corrosion, apparently, the Korean origin of the car affects. Rust pockets appear in the trunk and under the hood, and sills and wheel arches are damaged from sandblasting. Body parts are expensive, durable, but after 50,000 km, the control unit often fails. Around the same time, the fuel pump starts to mope. 
every year or every 30,000 kilometers, it is recommended to flush the throttle body. In general, it is reliable, but when buying a used Almera, the diagnostics of the mechanics and especially the machine will not be superfluous. A leaking clutch master cylinder can surprise both an old car and a relatively new one. In the front suspension, tie rods wear out by 30,000 kilometers. Ball bearings withstand a little longer, but they change as an assembly with a lever. For 60,000 kilometers, there are enough wheel and support bearings for shock absorber struts. There is nothing special to break in the rear suspension due to the simplicity of its design. Closer to 150,000 kilometers, the trailing arm silent blocks will need to be replaced. During the same time, you will have to replace the stabilizer struts and bushings a couple of times. In electrical equipment, failures and failures are possible. Outside lighting bulbs, direction indicators, as well as a sound signal often fail. Repairs are cheap though. Worse, if the relays are burning, as well as the control electronics of the engine and service equipment.